Hello and welcome to another book haul. This is a book haul that is going to restock my bookstores because that is predominantly how I make my living is buying and selling things and one of my favorite things to sell is books because I love them. I love collecting them. I love reading them. I love being around them. So let me show you some of the items that are going to be up for sale on whatnot a Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific. Hopefully editing Bob has put something over here for y'all, but there will definitely be a link down in the description. So let me go ahead and get into it. I came into a bunch of Star Wars books and I pick them all up because I love Star Wars, particularly, uh, <laughs> uh, what is it? Four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine are okay. Uh, definitely better than one through three. I feel like someone needed to tell George Lucas no when it came to CGI and one through three when it was still like early and developing, but he just went full throttle with it and it was, it was not, not great. But there are some people who one through three are their favorite. I'm not disparaging you in any way, shape or form. Everyone's different. Everyone likes different things. I prefer four through six, but. First one we have to show is Star Wars Heir to the Empire, which is by Timothy Zahn. This is the first book in one of the many trilogies for Star Wars. I have Star Wars Battlefront Twilight Company. This is a premium mass market by Alexander Freed. I was going to say Reed, but I was like, there's another letter in there somewhere. So Alexander Freed. So premium mass market just means it is the same width as a mass market, but a little bit taller, which makes it premium somehow. I don't know how, but I'm not a publisher, so. This is Star Wars X-Wing Wedges Gamble. The first book in this series, I believe, is Rogue something. And I'm going to have to look that up in order to be able to tell you. Rogue Squadron. So this is the second book in that trilogy, Wedge's Gamble. I think I had Rogue Squadron at one point, but I don't now. This is the, also another second book in a three book trilogy. This is Dark Force Rising. If these don't sell on whatnot, I will happily put them up in my eBay store or I will hold them until I get the entire trilogy, which considering how many books I go through in a week, that is possible. I'm very fortunate in that I am in a very book plentiful area. We have Star Wars Shatters of the Empire by Steve Perry. I don't feel like that is the most uh, flattering drawing of Mark Hamill there. His face looks melted. But you know, not everybody can be a great artist. This is Rogue Planet. Little. Oh, baby Obi Wan there. I think. Is it Ewan McGregor that played Obi Wan in the one through three? This is Star Wars The New Jedi Order uh, Force Heretic 2 Refuge. So I'm guessing this is outside of the movie series. This is by Sean Williams and Shane Dix. So it's it's got a great front cover, doesn't have any spine creases, but the back cover it has been crinkled severely. This is a much better picture of Mark Hamill. His his eyes still aren't right. Like the rest of his face is good, but his eyes aren't right. They look like dead fish eyes. This is the Crystal Star by Vonda McIntyre which is a female author I love. She is the author of a Nebula Award winning book, Dream Snake. And I love that I think her dedication in this book is for Leah Brackett, which is another female science fiction writer. And that made my heart all warm when I saw that. I have more Star Wars books, but you're gonna see them in a little bit, but I'm gonna show you these other two books. Enchanter. This is the second book and The Wayfarer Redemption by Sarah Douglas. It's another number two. <laughs> I don't know how to fix this, this curvature here. Like, except for that, the book's actually in good condition. 
Of course, it's got some spine creases because it has been red, but here's some fantasy for you. Speaking of, here's some more fantasy. This is the third book in the Half-Blood Chronicles uh, by Andre Norton and Mercedes Lackey, Elvenborn. So this one's supposed to be different than the first two. And there's actually supposed to be four books in this series, but unfortunately uh, one of the ladies passed away before it can co could be completed. I believe Andre Norton passed away um, before this could be completed. And all the notes were given to Lackey, and uh, that just hasn't gone anywhere since then because this book was published in 2003. It is now more than 20 years later, and there is no fourth book in the series, so I don't think that's going to happen. But... Here is Elvin Bourne, which is the third book in the series, and I'm going to give you two outside Bob now, and she's going to finish this video for you, because it's absolutely gorgeous outside, and I want to be outside, and uh, I think you guys would enjoy the birds and the trees and the birds and the bees. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to give you to her now. All right, and here is the rest of it. So <laughs> I have a copy of First King of Shannara, by Terry Brooks, which is a prequel to the big series that he is most well known for. So here is that if you want to start that series. I also have another book from him that is not part of the Shannara series. Sh okay, Shannara, that's correct. All right, The Black Unicorn by Terry Brooks as well. I don't know why the lady is green, but there you go. I guess she's a leprechaun at the end of the rainbow, who knows? Here's a horror book. We have Salem's Lot by Stephen King. I'm guessing this is an earlier publication of it based on what it looks like. So this is probably from the 70s. Well, actually probably from like the late 70s, early 80s. There's that one. I have Surrender Nun, The Legacy of Gerd by Elizabeth Moon, who I've known from Bane publications. This is a Bane fantasy. I find very interesting. I didn't realize that Bane originally was a uh, editor for Ace and then decided to create his own publishing company. And that's why we get Bane books. Uh, until recently, which is super fun. This is Raymond Feist, Talon of the Silver Hawk. Hawk, this is the first book of the Conclave of Shadows. Has a little fancy flap there. I don't know what else to call that. It's not a, it's not a peekaboo cover because there's no hole in it, but it is a fancy flap. And this is from 2003 EOS paperback. Speaking of Bane, we have a Sterling Drake combination. This is book two of The General, The Hammer. That is, Bane books are so bro. This is Star Trek The Next Generation. This is number 19, Perchance to Dream by Howard Weinstein. This has Data and The Counselor. Love that. Data is my favorite. I have a couple of Michael Crichton books here. I have Congo. Here you go. Which was turned into a movie. And then I also have Jurassic Park, which I believe has surpassed Andromeda Strain in the zeitgeist of modern consciousness. That, I could have said that better. The zeitgeist of modern consciousness. Jurassic Park, I feel, is more well-known than the Andromeda Strain. So I have a paperback of this as well. I also have a baby girl. Come here, baby. Up. Can you come up? up? So people can see you? No? I promise there's a pretty dog here. You just can't see her. There we go. There she is. There she is. This is Eileen. If you've not seen her before, she is my border collie. She's a Merle, which is why she has like this gray, gray coloring here. But she's mine and I loves her and she loves me. And so she's hanging out with me. So if you hear panting indoor borks, that is her. Here's another Bane book with uh, 
McBride, Allen, and Drake. The War Machine. Crisis of Empire Three. I've got a lot of like twos and threes in this haul. Some ones though, like this is Otherland by Tad Williams. This one's in very good condition. It has a completely crispy spine. It's a DAW mass market here. I don't think this was red ever because it's so rare to get these like thick boys uh, in that crispy of a state. And then I have another Tad Williams. This is Shadow March by Tad Williams. Again, another thick boy. Definitely getting your money's worth out of these books. How many pages are these? 762, my God. That man does not know how to write a short novel, I don't think. Next one is Arthur C. Clarke. And Gentry Lee, this is Rama 2. This is supposed to be the sequel to The Rendezvous with Rama. And you guys just fell down to look at my crotch for some reason. <sighs> cool. Cool. All right. Here's the book instead of my crotch, which I'm selling this. I'm not selling the other thing. I'm so sorry. This is <laughs> sequel to Rendezvous with Rama, which is their Nebula Award winner. I did not hit anything. There, there's a mosquito that is bothering me. We have The Bone Song by John Meany, a novel of dark suspense. I've never heard of this author or of this book. So I'm guessing this is a more recent publication. This is a first print from 2009. Cool. Lord of Silence by Mark Chadbourne. This is giving me Highlander vibes. Probably from the cover. This is Solaris Mass Market. It's a dark fantasy from first print from 2009. There's that. I found another copy of this specific cover of Sathun, which makes me super happy because I love the fact that this dude in a polo shirt and some jeans is like trying to stab the heck out of this monster Why this lady wearing a shower curtain is like desperately grabbing onto him. I find that very funny. Uh, I have a, another uh, more vintage copy. This is Dark Piper by Andre Norton. I thought about keeping this, but I need to read some of her before I keep more of her. That, that is gonna be my motto going forward. This is a Del Rey mass market from 19, or Valentine, a Del Rey Valentine book, 1984. And I have a Gregory Benford mass market artifact. A small cube of black rock has been unearthed in a 3,500 year old Mycenaean tomb. There's that, it's getting dark. I have a trade paperback copy of Ender's Game, which I have reviewed on this channel. I really like this book. It's another award winner. Has been made into film and TV multiple times. I also managed to snag a copy of The Last Wish, which is the first book in the Witcher series, uh, chronologically. So if you watch the Witcher series, and if you played any of the games, you will be very familiar with this book. Great book. I've also reviewed that one. I also have both the first and second book of The Innocent, The Awakened Mage, so the King Maker, King Breaker saga by Karen Miller. This is the whole thing, so it's only two books. This is both books, so if you want to pick this up, this will be available for sale for uh, $3. Uh, the other paperback books that are by themselves are $2 each. And the trilogies are going to be $5. So I have a, as Matt would say, the Will Smith edition of The Lord of the Rings. So these are all from the movies. So one through three here, The Fellowship, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. All three of those in the Will Smith editions of those books. 
And then I also have the, I think this is called the His Dark Materials uh, Trilogy by Philip Pullman. So this is the Golden Compass, the Subtle Knife, and the Amber Spyglass all in a matching set. So this would be $5 as well. And then here's some more singletons. This is a trade paperback of The Crystal Cave by Mary Stewart. A beautiful like new condition of The Shining trade paperback by Stephen King. I'm looking very emo on the back. This is really nice, <laughs> a really nice copy. I also, for those bibliophiles out there that would like to keep track of their reading, I found a brand new unused copy of a book journal. So if you would like to keep track of your books, you can. That'll be available for sale too. And then probably the coolest piece of this whole haul is a hardcover edition of The Jungle Tales of Tarzan by Edgar Rice Burroughs. And you guys fell over. You couldn't, my camera couldn't handle the awesomeness that I'm about ready to show you. I know it looks very worn. It's got a blue top text block. Everything else is uh, very old cover colored. It is very tanned from age. And that is because this particular uh, Tales of Tarzan is from 1919. So if you would like an antique copy of the Tales of Tarzan by Edgar Rice Burroughs, it does have a cigarette burn <laughs> inside because this is from 1919 when people still regularly smoked. Um, it is in good enough shape to read as long as you're careful with it, but all the pages are still intact. They're still in good shape in the binding. They're not falling out. And I thought this was really cool. Hopefully you guys do as well. And hopefully I will see you guys there. It's going to be 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday. Editing Bob hopefully has done some work over here for you. The link will of course be down in the description down below. And any of these books that don't sell on whatnot will go up in my eBay store because this is how Again, I make a living, and so if you want to support me and also pick up a book for yourself, this is a great way to do it. If not, hopefully I'll see you in the next video, and it will be a review. Bye, friends.